So this news yesterday just came out from EA. EA says that they are going to delay Need for Speed and they're going to shift to working on DICE, which will support Bat Battlefield 6. Electronic Arts will postpone the next Need for Speed game by a year and put studio Criterion Games to work on supporting EA DICE on the Battlefield series, which will debut on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X this fall. In an interview, EA's top executive for studios stress that neither franchise is in trouble. Nor is Criterion being taken off its Need for Speed project. Or merely EA's chief studios officer told Polygon that the pandemic working conditions and the quote master acquisition already delivering at least one racing game for EA later this year made me assigning Criterion a rational call. Battlefield is shaping up great. The team has been working incredibly hard. They pushed hard last year. And yes, we have been working from home. Mealy told Polygon. And it's hard. It's hard to make games from home and the Yay Dice team is fatigued a bit. We have a great game and some incredible potential lift this game. Millie added. We are playing to win. We're playing to put a great Battlefield game out in the market. EA told investors in November that no that Need for Speed and Battlefield would both get new games on the newest generation of consoles by March 2022. Battlefield's next game, which hasn't been titled yet, was mentioned in the call to investors back in 2019. The most recent Battlefield was 2018's Battlefield 5, set in World War II. Well, I don't know how EA is going to pull this off, but yeah, since COVID came last year, and uh, we're almost at the anniversary where uh, the entire country was in lockdown, by the way, but since COVID came last year, it was harder for everyone to adapt to new, new changes very quickly. So, I understand how the developers feel when they cannot, you know, really work on a new game because they're not accustomed of being used to working from home. So, I could definitely see why EA is, like, pushing the next Need for Speed game back a little bit. I can definitely see why they are doing that so they can finish Battlefield. Rather than hustle to p push the next Need for Speed out the door when it might get lost or cannibalized by Conas's release around the same time, Tyrion's capabilities would be better spent on Battlefield, Millie said, but she stressed. Tyrion Games will return to work on Need for Speed. The series is not being shut down. Taken from Guildford, England Studio, nor given over to Codemasters, which is two hours away from Southampton. The next Need for Speed will also launch on current and previous generations of PlayStation and Xbox merely said. They all knew the Need for Speed franchise, which that's why they managed to remaster merely said. Anything that's happening within the Need for Speed brand, they are responsible for or things come through them to ensure that they're on board with it. A year 
of working from home, however, and the potential that e EA's top brass sees if what DICE is building in Battlefield were more urgent issues that need solutions, Millie said. Making games is one of the more so sophisticated and complicated forms of media that exist, and it requires creative energy and connection to team members, she said. I think that there's been, you know, fatigue and some burnout working from home. A lot of that even has to do with just the needs of that people have them have with their families. Some people are taking care of their kids at home while they work. So our part, our productivity is not as high. And then the create, the creative connection and creative energy isn't as high when they're working from home. So, yeah, I ha I blame the coronavirus for for this. Because had we not had a deadly virus, would would EA probably focused on releasing Need for Speed and the next Need for Speed game like sooner? I mean, I mean, I I can't lie. They can't lie. It is hard working from home, and I understand that. I really do. So, at this point, to some of you Need for Speed fans that have been working, that have been waiting for a new game, it's time to have your patience. Because at the end of the day, there's nothing we all can do about it. I mean, just remember that these people are humans too, and humans cannot really be on top of everything like like multitasking to take care of the kids while they work on a video game like that's just how life works now not everybody is in the position to multitask during these times and as much as I hate the coronavirus so much for ruining all of this in the past year. It's one of those things that we can all still hope for, which is a new Need for Speed game. And I'd be, I'll be lo looking forward to hearing the news when, it, when that new Need for Speed game comes out. But we'll have to wait and see. That's all.